started by letting me give you a little bit of a scenario of what my life is all about. Hola Drifters, J. Merrick Sandy Sage with you here in the Mojave National Preserve at the Zizix Road Desert Studies Center. At least that's what it's called today, but it's history as the Zizix uh, Mineral Spring Resort and Spa is probably the most interesting part of its uh, long, long history here at the edge of the Mojave Desert. Uh, it was used as a resting spot for travelers for a while. At uh, one point, uh, camels came through here delivering mail back in the 1850s. And uh, in 1944, a uh, televangelist, well, not, well, a radio evangelist and a uh, sort of pseudoscience doctor, uh, although uh, I believe that some of his uh, ideas were probably rather sound. He was still considered uh, a, officially a quack by the American Medical Association, but Curtis House Springer uh, built a, uh, a resort here uh, on land that he had filed a mining claim on uh, but didn't actually own outright and didn't uh, apparently didn't fully uh, fulfill all his duties uh, with his mining claim and in 1974 uh, about 30 years after operating as a uh, resort and spa here in the desert uh, it was closed down and turned into a desert study center which today is used by the California State University system. Peace. So here is uh, Curtis Springer's original bathhouse or uh, spa area. This is about five feet deep here. Then you had these uh, little spas you would have uh, <clears throat> been soaking down here. Sitting in the bath. Yes, sitting in the spa. Overlooking this gorgeous view of Soda Lake. The mountains behind it. Look at these great uh, swings. Gotta try it. <laughs> yeah, Curtis House Springer, thank you for building this uh, little resort here. 
the edge of the Mojave near the Soda Dry Lake. 